I have been wanting to go to therapy for quite some time now, but living overseas has made that quite difficult. It's costly and to do it online just doesn't feel the same. I also don't know how I feel about talking to strangers. I feel like I would have to interview them for quite some time and get to know them first before I could just open up to a stranger. Eventually, I do hope to go, but in this video, I just want to share with you how I have managed to stay afloat all these years. One of the things that has been keeping me in tune with myself all these years and what I deem as the best therapy dupe of a lifetime is journaling. I have been journaling since I was about 10 or 11 years old, if not earlier. That's about 18 years. The breakthroughs I've had with just my pen and paper have been astonishing. Journaling is like a secret passageway into your internal world. It's the wardrobe into the Narnia of self. It's the mirror showing what was once invisible to the naked eye. Your dreams, your hopes, your heartbreaks, accomplishments. If I were to paint a picture of my mind, I would say that at times it looks like a messy room. With things to put away, things have finished, projects laying around, certain areas begging to be organized. When I journal, it's like taking those thoughts and finally putting them into their proper categories. For example, if there's a dream I've never vocalized but has been sitting in my mind for a while, at times it feels like it's just cluttering up the space. Getting it out onto paper, exploring the heart of the dream on the pages, frees my mind from the responsibility of having to carry it around unacknowledged. For me, journaling helps to get those things that have just been collecting in my heart out into the open. I can explore the depths of my own mind and really get to know my own internal world much better. Much like a therapist helps you do, I assume. I think when people go to therapy, they are asked the right questions, at least successful therapy. and. The answers reveal who you are, in a sense, and so you are reflected in your answers. If you're honest with yourself, with your pages, things just start flowing out. Things you may or may not have realized or known about yourself. You get to know you. What I love is there's no rules. You can literally put anything on the page however you want to put it, or spell it, or draw it. You can be as honest as you want to be. Without the thought of someone judging you, your experience is what you make it. I think my absolute favorite thing about journaling is the hindsight it provides that you just can't get with anything else. You get to look back on how far you've come and all the things you've been through you get to see the decisions you made right and the things you didn't get right. You're able to look back over the years at what you've been through, the thoughts that you were thinking, and the things you were so right and so wrong about. And you get to see how far you've come. Or sometimes the things you're still stuck in and struggling with. I look back at all my entries about boys and the things I was going through with them. I get to see my thought patterns of thinking how I constantly questioned and doubted myself when I noticed something was wrong, how I never trusted my instincts and followed through with what I knew was the right thing. I can see all the times God was actually speaking to me and leading me, yet how I so passionately went the opposite way. It's fascinating to see your past self captured in time. My goal for next year is to have prompt journals of my own. For anyone who wishes to treat journaling as a cathartic or therapeutic experience like myself, I hope that something you are interested in, please keep me accountable. I hope to start that soon. Lately, I've been journaling about my life overseas, and if you want to hear some of those thoughts, click the video in the next screen. But anyway, 
thank you for watching thank you for being here and as always i will see you in the next video